Are we doing back or are we doing front? I think we're doing front since my hair is getting longer. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I got for my birthday video and this year was epic. For the last few years, my birthday has fallen on Grand Prix weekend, which is the best thing ever, but also a curse at the same time. I work with some of the most incredible women in the world, so I get to spend my birthday with all of my girlfriends at all these fun events, but then at the same time, I don't get to spend it with my family. So we celebrated my birthday a week before we went to Hidden Fish, which was amazing. We enjoyed it like crazy. We did the chef's menu. It was absolutely delicious. And that's where I celebrated with Luca, with my sister, with her hubby, with my parents, with my guy. That is where we did like our little tiny family gathering. We also kind of celebrated Father's Day at the same time because Again, it was Grand Prix weekend. My birthday fell on Father's Day this year. Anyways, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the whole hoopla over the past two weeks. It was incredible. We had so much fun. With that being said, we celebrated my birthday almost for two weeks because of this. So everywhere I would go, people would be like, oh my God, Mal, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. And I was like, yes, you guys know me. If you followed me here long enough, you know how much I love my birthday. So. 2023 birthday was epic. So the first present I actually got was my little trip to New York. That was my birthday present. And it was basically like a three days of do whatever you want in New York. So we went to amazing restaurants. We went to go see the Karl Lagerfeld exhibit at the Met, which was incredible. I also got for my birthday two of the Chanel um, exhibit books that they were selling. One is this massive coffee table book that is absolutely beautiful and it's all of Karl Lagerfeld's shows and you see like the Chanel shows, all the details, it is gorgeous. And then the other one is just like a Karl Lagerfeld book. Not only are they beautiful in my space, but they're also really interesting books to have and own. That New York trip was it was really epic. We had so much fun. It was a trip that we did after Luca's birthday trip. So I also picked New York as my birthday trip and it was it was so fun. Ooh, I got some house stuff that I have to show you guys. So I um, ordered this little couch for the kitchen because I wanted some seating area instead of the stools because Luca and I really, that's where our TV is. I feel like we do most of our hanging out in the kitchen. Our kitchen is huge. It's like 600 square feet and it has like a den. So you're supposed to have kind of like a mini living room in your kitchen. But I just kind of had it with like all open air, open concept with just a TV kind of hanging on the wall. So when I was cooking, I could watch, but I was like, no, we need some seating in there. So my parents got me these beautiful velvet chairs that I am loving. I bought this couch, it delivered, did not work at all. And then my mom was like, I saw these couches. Do you want me to try and get them for you and see what you think? I'm like, yes, please. So my parents got me these beautiful velvet chairs that I now have in the kitchen and love them. And they got me these amazing bowls. Like, you know the perfect bowl that's like a bowl plate? It's kind of like a plate with like a lip. I saw these back in like December at Hogs and I was like, these plates? Are everything they are so beautiful I host a lot at my house we always have friends over we always have family over so she got me eight of them and they're all different they're so beautiful and they match already and they kind of match with the white set that I already have so they can be mixed and matched and then like the white on white with different prints and vibes I am so in to these you have no idea Home stuff for the past few years has really been my favorite thing to be purchasing. If you guys have been following me again on Instagram, um, I've redone so many rooms in the house. I've redecorated, remodeled, done renovations. Like there's a lot that's been done. I feel like our home right now is like my sanctuary and I just wanna make it really perfect and pretty and so us. So I've been really taking my time like finding really special pieces and these bowls, I just feel like are like the special piece. You know what I mean? Ooh, this t-shirt. It's from Kelly. Kelly is like my queen of like basics. She is so good at finding the ultimate basics. She picked me up this white one and this beige one that I've basically been living in for the past week. I took this one out of the laundry room because it has like foundation on the neckline. That is how much I've been wearing this. Zara t-shirts, I couldn't get them in Montreal. So when she was in Miami, she actually picked them up for me. This was months ago. This was like back in like February, March and she picked them up for me. I love them. I got some really, really, really nice jewelry this year also. I'm just gonna overlay this because it's gonna be really complicated. So this chain, my Amore Disc and my Birthstone 
from Anzi I've had for years. And I've been wearing these on this chain for like an eternity. I got the diamond disc. I think it's called a char it's a charm holder. So you basically put it on your chain as a closure. So they removed, Anzi removed the closure for me and they replaced it with this. So this opens and closes and you put all your charms on it. But I also got this like diamond evil eye with the turquoise eye. It's like everything. Now I want to go to Anzi and buy more stacks because I'm like, this is so perfect. This looks so good. Like I want to like add charms to this necklace. It's kind of like a modern day charm necklace, which I love. I'm not so much into charm bracelets. That's why I'm like, this is so original. Speaking of Anzi, I also got this piece, which I rewrapped or I attempted to rewrap. Nobody can wrap quite like Joanna does. And I wanted to show this to you guys because this was such a special gift so this is how it looks they are definitely not kidding with their packaging I feel like jewelry and home has really been my thing so it's just like this and you open it up and here oh, I put it the wrong way what an epic fail so I got one of their lockets I've wanted one of their lockets for so long it's in silver because I love a good mixed metal moment this is what made me literally ball put it on to show you guys how nice it looks. I've been layering it every day with the shorter necklace and I just love how it kind of sits. I'm really into this like shorter, longer necklace vibe. It looks so good. And this with like a low cut, it looks even better. Other exciting news, which was my birthday present to myself. I finished my Invisalign last week. I definitely need to bleach my teeth now because I had those like things glued to my teeth for a year, but the whole treatment is done. I want to give you guys a close up. This is honestly something I never thought I would do and I was made fun of so much on the internet that it made me want to fix it even though I've had braces twice before and they kept getting crooked again. But I would like to thank the mean people who made fun of me because I finally ended up doing it and I'm so happy I did. So my teeth are a little bit yellow right now because I had the um, the things glued onto my teeth to hold up the Invisalign, but like I just want to show you guys close up how beautiful they look. So the treatment was my birthday present to myself last year and this year. I did it at Linnea Smile, which is my friend's clinic, so thank you so much, Mel. You made it so seamless. I'm so happy. Eee, my teeth are straight. Another fun little vintage birthday present is this Fendi baguette over here. This is a vintage, it's, it's the version that has like kind of like the pleated monogram on top with the appliques over top eye. I'm literally obsessed with this. It's vintage, but it's in great condition. But what I love about it, it's already smushed out. Like, you know when like your bags are a little too stiff at the beginning? This is like the perfect slouch already there. I've been using this almost every single day. You guys know my love for a good baguette. Get quiet luxury. I am all about this like loud and proud moment that we have going on. It was such an amazing present. I was not expecting this at all. Like look, she's so cute. She's so pretty. I think we're due for an updated handbag collection video, by the way, because I just spoke to Retaish this week, and I think we're gonna do a big, big closet sale together. So before I do that, I definitely wanna do a little peek at everything that's going on behind me, because as you guys know, there's a lot. But this was just added to the wall, and I am, I'm in love with this bag. I have to show you guys what Luca Bear made me. I'm not sure if you guys have this book in English. I've only read it in French for Luca, but it's La Chenille. It's a caterpillar book. You know the one that like they eat through the fruit and stuff? So Luca made me her rendition of the book and she like wrote it herself. La Chenille qui fait des trous, bonne fête maman, peinturée par Luca. When she gave me the card, she like narrated the story in French, but she painted all the pictures herself. That's her little chenille, the caterpillar. These are the fruits that he was eating through and the sweets. That's her caterpillar eating a leaf when he goes in a cocoon. And then when he turns into a butterfly. I love this kid so, I'm gonna cry. That's how much I like, ugh, what's wrong with me? I love this kid so much. So she made me this and then she made me breakfast in bed. She came to surprise me with breakfast in bed and she made me, she cut up toast, 
put like a slab of butter because usually in the morning I just have a toast with a little bit of margarine and she brought that up for me put some cherries because I like fruits and put some candies because she said it was my birthday made me coffee she like went because she makes my coffee every morning with an espresso machine she made me coffee brought it up in bed and then she got me this I didn't open it or use it yet because I wanted to show it here without it being used. She got me a back washer because I always ask her to exfoliate my back for me. <laughs> and she's like, look, now you can do it yourself. Ooh, I got this amazing cashmere throw for our couch. I will insert a picture. It is so soft. It's like this like beautiful like butterscotch and cream color or like I guess oatmeal color almost. It fits perfectly in the house. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this because it shows my full name and date of birth, but um, this is my birth date book. I sent this to my sister from Instagram. I kept getting targeted. I'm huge on horoscopes. I like believe in horoscopes. I like would base my love life around horoscopes, like it's a problem, but I am a big fan of horoscopes. So I sent my sister this link. I kept getting targeted from this company and it's this beautiful book. It's like a personalized, rundown of your entire life. There's your birth time, your like, it gives your ascendings, moons and suns and everything. I am obsessed with this book. I've already read the whole thing. I have it in my bedroom. I am just, I, I love that she did this for me. It is so amazing. So, uh. I also got the Santal, I love Santal, Santal 44, Santal 42, anyways, it's Santal, it's an amazing perfume, it's a candle, it's a scent, if you guys know it, it's probably, if you go to like a boutique higher end hotel, you've definitely smelled it, it is one of my favorite scents in the whole world, the perfume's like $300, the candle's like $200 or something, it's like ridiculously expensive, but my sister found a dupe for it, and she got me the candle, I will film it so you guys can see what it is, you need this candle the scent is incredible now I need to actually buy the real perfume though because I'm so obsessed it's incredible like I have it next to my bed and I wake up in the morning and I'm like this smells so good I got a few gift cards to restaurants because everybody knows I love restaurants so I got one for Donato which is on Sherbrooke I love that place I've only ever been for lunch now I need to go for dinner because dinners are obviously always more fun than lunches I got for Marcus I got for Holtz Cafe and I got a Poipanchi one so you guys know my spots those are all aligned with everywhere I love going. That's the whole thing I told everybody. I'm like, this year is all about like experiences, not things. Experiences. I needed this one so bad. I love these types of books. This one is Stop Overthinking. Your girl overthinks a lot. And the past, I've been in therapy for like three and a half years and I personally can't live without it. I love it and my therapist has helped me so much with the overthinking and just being able to kind of block things out and be above it all. And you can't control the narrative on things that have nothing to do with you and stuff like that. But I still, I still get in my head a lot. And if that's something you guys would actually want to talk about, I would love to have this conversation because I feel as though, I don't know if it's an Italian thing, but I feel like growing up, this was not something you would talk about or you would kind of just brush it off. But mental health and overthinking is like something that has hit me hard my entire life. And it's mainly stems from like overthinking. I basically get in my head and I overanalyze everything and I create these crazy scenarios that 98% of the time never happen. Um, but this book is actually really good for this. So it's, it's, it's been good. I'm still, I'm at page 67, but she's a goodie. Let's talk Second Life Jewels. I got some beautiful pieces from them. They sent this to me. It's a Chanel repurposed charm on a brooch. Imagine this like on a blazer or as a closure to like a blazer with nothing underneath. I hadn't seen Second Life Jewels do these types of pieces yet and I'm so happy they did because I find this so, so gorgeous. I am obsessed with this. I wore this out for Grand Prix, which you couldn't see it because the way that it was layered looked a little like hidden. It is gore gorgeous. There you go. See how cute this looks like on? 
this looks so cute on. I'm actually going to keep it on. So my, I don't want to say boyfriend. I feel like I'm too old to say boyfriend. But like my guy was, my man friend was at Costco. And he saw this and I've been saying how bad my shoulders hurt. He's like, and he he's like, came back. It's like, I picked this up. Massage your back with it. So I was like, I did it. Or actually he did it for me. And I was like, oh my God, this feels so amazing. And then I did it on Luca too. And she was like, this is the best feeling ever. So anybody who has a Costco membership, which I've never had a Costco membership in my life, this thing, it's on sale at Costco right now. My fabulous friends at Retiche got me a birthday present. I tried it on already and I rewrapped it because I wanted to show it the way Alex had wrapped it. It was so gorgeous. He's like, you haven't celebrated your birthday like properly yet. He's like, all you were doing was events. So he's like, I wanted you to have this like amazing birthday dress. Isn't this beautiful? I tried it on. It's absolutely amazing. I'm probably going to do a split screen so you guys can actually see what it looks like on. It is by Parker. It's a size small. It's just so perfect. It's so beautiful. It fits so well. And I love a good sparkle moment. And I have to show the present I bought for myself because I always have to get myself a little something. Meanwhile, I already bought myself a few things this year for my birthday, but yeah. So they come in this Saint Laurent dust bag, and it's these. Aren't they so chic? So they're too big. They're a size seven. They just say Saint Laurent Paris. They are a size seven, but I will put a heel catcher. That is how obsessed I am with them. They're just like a black sole cream with the navy blue peak. They're giving me like 1980s vintage, but what I love about them, they're like 1980s looking, but they have a high heel. I feel like in the 80s, these type of shoes were always like a kind of like a kitten heel. Oh my God, they're so sexy. I'm like looking at them in the viewfinder. They are so, so gorgeous. My friend got me the Veuve Clicquot fridge and I told my friend about it and she found one and got it for me. So it's the Veuve Clicquot Smeg collaboration and there's obviously a Veuve Clicquot bottle in it and what's cool about this is this actually will keep your bottle cold for two hours. So it's like you're going out, we do picnics, we do stuff like that, you bring this, the bottle will remain cold. So I love this, but it's also, it's the cutest like, bottle holder ever. I'm gonna go put this downstairs now, but like, hi, you're going in my bar cart. I got a good classic Joe Malone moment. I love their candles. It's pretty much all I burn in my house for the past million years. I got lime, basil, and mandarin. I would only ever had lime, basil. I don't know, because I burn them so often. I don't know that my lime, basil was mandarin. So my girlfriend got this for me in Ireland. So let me know below, lime, basil, mandarin. Is it always lime, basil, mandarin? I thought it was always just lime, basil, but this smells like extra amazing. I think I've shown everything that I got. This year was incredible. I was spoiled beyond belief. My friends and family are literally the most incredible people on this planet. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for all the amazing birthday wishes that you guys left me on Instagram, that you guys DM'd me. I'm not sure if I got back to everyone, but I just want to give you guys all a huge, huge hug. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for being in my life. And I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.